Hi guys, welcome back to another video today. Um, as you can tell by the title that this is my f top five shocking moments of this week in football. Um, my number five is Brighton winning three 0 Um. Now a lot of you probably saying, well, I'm your Brighton fan. Um, why is it a surprise? To be honest, it's not a surprise we won. It's a surprise that we made it look easy. Um, I think West Ham off the ball a lot. Even though I did have that 20 minutes domination after we were, after we went one nil up. Um, I won't, I was expected to come back out in the second half and fight. Um obviously it wasn't the case, but I think winning three now it's started to prove to big clubs that we are Premier League ready. If you if you're going to underestimate us then you'll um you will you will be surprised more than anything, but anything like that it's uh i mean i, I remember when i went up there uh, things about six years ago when we lost six now i think a lot of west ham fans um was expecting that sort of result again but I've, if you look at us with arsenal and away we lost two now Man City at home lost two now, but we kept it nil nil for 70th minutes. And then you look at Man City gone to Watford and beaten five now. Um, you know we beaten Chelsea down here in a pre-season friendly. Um, we done Newcastle three times um, as a Premier League standard team, two in the FA Cup and one in the league. So. You know, I think people need to start um, expecting us just not to roll over. We've been out of it for 38 years, so um, so I've got a bit of a cold. Um, you know, we fought our way back to get into the prem, so just keep that in mind. My Number four is Kabar not not being red carded um, against his foul against Newcastle. Um, now I see a lot of you saying, "Well, Br Brighton fan, Palace arrivals and all that," but I think every, in, any scissor tackle should be red carded. Now both such are showing, and you gotta catch his egg in between. Um, You know, it is a dangerous tackle. Um, do I? F I mean, I've seen I've seen people get their cards for that flat hit end tackle. Um, you'll be able to tell by the picture that it do it does it nice. It does it dangerous. So that's number four. Um, sorry. My number three is Liverpool losing 4-1 to Tottenham. Now I expected Liverpool to put up a bit of a fight. Yet again, same as West Ham. They just said oh, they weren't really there. Um, you know, you a lot, a lot of a lot of the uh, looking was at Lovren. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. But in football, you got to look at it as a team effort. Um, you know, when Brighton come off as a defeat and one player said that's my fault, it's not just yours, your team. So you know, you got to take some responsibility, not just the odd player that did turn up. So that is my number three. My number two is West Ham Hooper Village. Now, 
when we lost, when we, sorry, when we won at West Ham, a lot of fans saying his time's up, he should go. I totally agree with you. I don't think he should be your manager. You know, with Pat, with us, when we played Arsenal as well, club was to us, some of them want the manager, some of them want him to go. Um, but I, to be honest, I think, do I think Billish's time is nearly up? Maybe. If, uh, if not, then, you know, you've got trust in your board. Just, kept, just let your just let your feelings know that the um, that you think his time's up. Um, so that's my number two, and my number one is Man United losing two 0 to Huddersfield. Um, none of us expected it. Yet again, it proves with like. Yet again, I'll go Brighton, West Ham, all that money you had out on the pitch. It proves nothing. Same with Man United, Huddersfield. Okay, yeah, they've brought 10 new players. But if you look at the Man United team compared to the Huddersfield team, you're probably still saying now 100 mil underneath the spending mark. Same with us when we played Man City. We lost 2 0. 17 minutes, 17 minutes we holded them for. And you, um, you know, we we didn't make it easy for them. Okay, they broke us down in the end, but a team with that sort of money and what I spent and what we spent, they should be doing us seven nil. Um, I think it's a lot of time now where people need to start thinking that m money's not the game now. Even though people treat it as a big business. Um, if I was in charge of a club, I'd start looking at the youth and, more, and then more about uh, saving the money for when it's really needed. But this is just my five, my five shock, uh, surprising moments. Sorry, of this week, guys. If you know of any uh, sh uh, surprises that goes on. Um, anything like that let me know it could make it in my top five every week but don't forget this is week one a lot more to come all right guys anyway subscribe for more thanks for watching and ciao for now